Moses. Every day our nation was born. complex as we may know all of us is being built funded and financed by the People's Republic of China as a gift to the government and people of Liberia Mr. President the cost of this building is uh, over 52 million United States dollars and it has been under construction for the past two to three years. We are very grateful, Mr. President, that you've come to tour this facility today. The ministerial complex, when completed, will relieve the burden and the stress that is placed on central government to lease or rent structures for government functionaries. Under the arrangements, there are six institutions of government that should be located here at this complex. Uh, later on during this tour, the Deputy Minister of Technical Services will explain to you uh, through the prototype to tell you exactly where which uh, ministry or institution will be. But we are very pleased that you can come to tour uh, public buildings that are under construction in the country. We recall, Mr. President, your mandate to the Ministry of Public Works that under your administration, infrastructure development will be emphasized. Since that time, Mr. President, you've taken practical steps, steps that are tangible enough for all of us to see as Liberians. We are very pleased that when it comes to horizontal structures, that is roads, uh, evidently all around Morovia is environs, and in fact the country, even the blind, can tell the progress that has been made by this administration. You are not only emphasizing roads, Mr. President, you are also looking at vertical structures, vertical structures that have to do with buildings. And I'm sure this is why you are here today. So on behalf of the Ministry of Public Works, which is the representative partner on this project, we'd like to formally welcome you. We are pleased that His Excellency the Chinese Ambassador is here, and he will also make some comments. We'll hear from the contractors, and then uh, our Deputy Minister of Technical Services and our engineer on the project will and take us on a guided tour along with the contractor. Your Excellency, you are most welcome again. And thank you very much. Allow me to start welcome Your Excellency, Mr. President of Liberia, Republic of Liberia, to 
spare your time to visit uh, the minister complex uh, building. I will uh, express my appreciation to the Ministry of uh, Public Works for their kind of support and uh, uh, help to the construction of the Jiangsu International Construction Corporation. Uh, as the uh, Minister has said in the past uh, three years, that their hard work and with the help of the Ministry of Public Works, the buildings are here. This coming April, that will be on time. And after it is, it's a free, uh, completion, I hope you can help your new administration to relieve your uh, office. Uh, not <coughs> yeah, there is not enough uh, office for the uh, ministries. Uh, as your Excellency knows that uh, uh, China and uh, Liberia are long-lasting friends and uh, good partners. Last year in September, Your Excellency went to China for the forecast uh, summit. You had uh, a very good uh, lecture uh, meeting with our president, President Xi Jinping. And uh, you have a very good talking and uh, with uh, uh, common concerns for our future cooperation. I'm very glad that uh, even facing a lot of challenges under your Western leadership, you are new administration in last uh, year has made a lot of uh, achievements in the border connections uh, in uh, uh, reducing the uh, uh, poverty of the people. I uh, appreciate that very much your Excellency has proposed uh, a very good uh, uh, plan. It is called the Cocoa Agenda for Prosperity and Development. I found that uh, in a lot of aspects, uh, that uh, Cocoa Agenda uh, has similar uh, uh, missions with China's uh, five-year uh, development plan and also <coughs> for the FOCAC, uh, uh, the eight axis the FOCAC has adopted uh, between New York Excellency and the other African leaders with our, our president. So uh, this year is the first year uh, that we are working together to implement uh, the four uh, the, the, uh, the, the four uh, eight accents. So one uh, area is uh, for the uh, infrastructure uh, construction. So besides this uh, uh, minister comes building, and the next we will go to the airport to see the uh, new terminal. And also on your way to go to the airport, and you will go to the your priority project, the 14 hospital. And uh, I'm uh, very glad that uh, to uh, tell your excellency for extend some help for the 14 uh, hospital. Now we have the uh, second team, uh, the technical team are studying to make some help to the 14 hospitals uh, uh, construction and we will help you to build a uh, reference uh, uh, clinic uh, laboratory at the 14 hospital. In the future, uh, I uh, will promise your Excellency and our Labia, we are our brothers and their friends and we will continue to do our best to extend some help to help your excellency to achieve your glorious mission to reduce the poverty, to develop Liberia, to improve the living condition of Liberia people. We will uh, try to our, our best. Thank you, your excellency. Here are the schedules. This project is commenced on 2016, October number 25th, and the completion time is is designed to be 2019, April 24th. The construction period is 30 months and the total construction area is 24,000 square meters. And this
project is designed to have five functional sections, which included Immigration Office, Ministry of Education, Ministry of Agriculture, Environmental Protection Agency, and the Ministry of Commerce and Industry and uh, the complex building. But this is only the designing. The future function will be subject to the government designing. And this is the previous building, which has already been demolished. Here's our excavation and the foundation. The joint column. The wall, spot, wall plastering and the joint net. That's the real formwork and the wire rebar. The roof waterproof layer. On top of the roof waterproof layer is roof heat insulation. The cable tray and the form formwork for the stairs. The fire pipelines. Ceiling. And this is the indoor finishing. This is outdoor finishing. This project is highlight the quality control and the safety. Every procedure has to be conformed and approved by the specialized engineer and also the representative from the public works. Here's the photos for inspection from the project management team and also from the representative from the public works. This is the inspection on wall verticalness and the hydrant pressure test. The tile and the testing. We have a multifunction testing lab which can do a lot of testing on the wire, on the cement, on the sand. This is the safety channel, which, are, which have, have already, already been removed. This is the fire equipment, and also this is the place to hold the safety meetings. Fire, fire equipment. And also, as a big project, the managing team also highlights the social responsibilities. We have received plenty of delegations from the government, from the schools and also from the social world. Here's how the internal affairs visit site. And this is the delegation from foreign affairs. And here's how the students from the university. They come for study, communication and also intern. And also this project uses huge quantity of uh, local workers. We have employed more than 500 Liberian workers. The in peak season, there are more than 300 workers working at the same time. And all of the workers will receive the technical training before they start actually start working independently. So in the future, there will be hundreds of skillful workers which, which can con make their contribution to the local world. Here's another photo for the with distribute the Christmas gift on 2017 and also it's, uh, on 2018. And also this project used huge quantity of uh, local materials. We have used more than sand and rocks more than 40,000 square meters, diesel more than 77,000 gallons, and timber more than 36,000 pieces, and cement more than 13,000 towns, which can boost in the local economy enormously. And also here comes the important programs. The important days on 2017 April 27th, the groundbreaking ceremony. It's on 2017, December number 28th is the topping off ceremony for celebrating the completion of main structure. Here's are the local news on the completion of main structure.
And also, we also invite the Chinese medical team to provide free medical service to project workers. And also, on, la on last month, the local media have in come to, have come come to our project and do the site interview and press the look news on the local media. Here's here's the family photo and also the local news. This is the photo for the project manager received the Golden Wood image on 2017 July 18th. Okay, thank you very much. The asset to get the the to get in here? The new road we are building. What? The war air park and the connection. Because you have very no, big wall. No, you see, this is, top, this is top of my boiler. No, it, right now you go on that. See, your, the stream wall coming from the end here. It's right there. That's How it. are you going to get a road to get inside this place? Well, the road here is basically, we, this road is going to be elevated. So you see, this oh, is the, top of my boiler. We are demolishing the whole wall now. Yeah, but you're building a new wall. Yeah. yeah. It's here. This but there's is access. Is, so this is the this water. This is the security booth. The question I'm asking, yeah. when you build a new wall, will the concern that we're building an overpass for put up and again have it the road that coming here where the car road that will enter here it will come, come from the design it will come from the design there will be a, when you fly up there will be access to go to Okongo town you know the Okongo town back road to come in and even to come out of here instead of coming back to Topma Boulevard you can go in the back way I think the oldest Okongo town road that you yeah. land on somewhere in Sinka so all of that is part when the team came the they will not be a barrier no it won't be a barrier it will only be a control for in people coming and going out, so it's going to be a control. So, Minister, the new design is going to incorporate what is existing. So, like the minister said, the new design want to have an, an access road that will be exclusive for people coming in this it's a complex. Well, we got two entrances. This is one, and this is the main entrance. Oh, okay. So we have this. So bridge. So on this side, I think for those who are coming to the complex, if you are coming directly to the ministerial complex, you don't need to take the overpass. So you come this way and enter. If you're going straight to town, you just take the overpass. So if you're coming from in the complex here again, you want to go to the Congo Town Barrier, you pass under the overpass. So you ease the traffic. As you separate separate units, so for the initial uh, appropriation of administration, I will assume that. Each agency will have separate building. Yes, yes, yes. 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 And then, then this corridor. So yeah. I mean, if we do the if we do the tour, if we do the tour, yeah. you will see we leave from this building, yeah. go through here, come back here, come here, come right back. You know, that is why I assume that building that will be commercial will be this, GP will be this. So the reason we are not naming them that's so we are not naming them, but see units. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are going to get their own unit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's everybody that own unit. Yeah, yeah. Our elemental space. All the ministry that have uh, interrelation yes. should come together and get in those buildings. Yes. Yeah, there's a minister of finance and blah, 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 mm -hmm. and get in the building. So you're not separating that again. They all got to be in the building. Because the president will be good. Each of them have a separate building. Because I'm going to be, hypothetically, this is comments.
place we are grow Yeah. 
Storage one to, to three. Storage one and, and two will be used to store uh, a, a draft food store, and storage three will be for the frozen food. We also have a kitchen. I mean, I mean, you know, a bathroom for the, the kitchen staff. We also have a bathroom here for those that will come uh, to see the pit patient want to find something to eat, and we also have an office space for the office that will be managing the kitchen. So basically, that's how it looks like. The ramp on that too poor what you choose so you can see as well. So basically that's all and we can just walk through and just go. Again this place is bad for the reason why I couldn't even do here again. And if uh if constructed would be one of the biggest laboratory in the whole of Africa. Oh wow. Definitely. So that was <laughs> that's what we'll do it with this space you see right in front of you. So, so what, what going to happen when they start the lab, the entire session going towards the riverside. We gave it to our partners for them to use it to build a lab and the doctor's water, where they will have the generator room and the firehouse. So the entire place will be used for kitchen purposes. And it will be like, the, because it will be supporting the hospital just in case of any emergency that we can get around there. So the stuff. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, and they just completed their own survey this morning and they just okay. left from this one. Just left from this. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So, so basically, that's all we have for you to see for now. So we can use the back part of the building and go back. Sorry, the Roma, before you leave, the beta consultant can just give you a speed on yeah. the building. Uh, welcome, and good, good to have you here. Uh, we know that this. Um, project is very close to you and it's very dear to the, Amer the Liberian people. What I'd like to tell you, sir, is that the, um, the, the work that you see going on here, we're currently trying to keep it on schedule so that we can be uh, completed as, as we committed to before. Uh, our guys are currently working on a schedule to extend that schedule so that we'll be working uh, instead of 12 hour days, we'll be moving to a 16 hour day. So we anticipate, as you see the roof, uh, we're up to roof level now. We are going to try and get this roof done um, within the next six weeks. So um, just to let you know that we're trying to, you know, push the, the schedule so that we can get completed in, in, in due course. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, before we ask you, we can build.
guess we all grow But look how far we come as a nation Whoa, whoa Tell me let's sing Hey Mama Liberia Hey This is new Liberia This is our motherland And there is no
tell us uh, what you got there. Why your impression that we're going to the UN? Why did the contractor tell you regarding the construction of the complex? Where the, uh, which one are you talking about? The ministerial complex. Ministerial complex. What do you know that uh, I had the privilege when I was in the Senate when they talk about that project? Uh, uh, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a good thing. I'm, I'm impressed. You know, when the, uh, we all negatively we were uh, castigating and talking about the breaking, the building down, and why they can't continue that building. But uh, uh, those uh, uh, that have the idea to put a new building, because the fact the other building, they didn't have that strength to maintain what they're going to put that today we see the a new artifacts. I think we can only be uh, 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 joyful and then, then uh, we'll be satisfied that we're going to get a new ministerial complex that will complement even the bridge that will be on uh, that road, the, the two bridges. So that uh, uh, it's a facelift and then uh, it's good for the country. So what we're going to do now is that all of the agency that are doing the same work, they'll be able to go in there so we can be going to one office to another office, they'll be right there. This is a good thing for us. And, and the reason uh, I'm, I'm, I'm making sure that uh, all the projects that uh, are monitored and finished because the government continues. So that even though it started doing our uh, excellency, former president Ellen Johnson Salif, but my mandate is to continue the projects that are left undone and then, then also uh, create new projects, you know, for the benefit of our country. Mr. President, the military hospital, I'm sure, stands to be one of your legacy projects. A uh, few months from now, we understand by April, let's say six months from now, it might be completed in terms of roofing. Uh, what do you say to Liberians in terms of the effort made so far to reach where it is? What a, a, a we just have to continue to listen. When, when you entrust a leader with a country to be developed, then you need to look up to the leader and help him to, to develop the country. And I'm, 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 I'm very satisfied and I'm impressed because <laughs> what we heard on Facebook, what we've seen around in the newspaper that since they talk about the military hospital, that nothing is on the ground, it's just uh, fallacies and what have you. So you can see that I'm, I'm, I'm very happy that uh, you saw my expression. I was impressed that we're going almost 75%. So as I said, it's, it's less talking and action. You know, my, my way of doing things, you know, and, and the reason I follow those uh, 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 projects because I don't want to just give people something to do and then uh, uh, I don't see that uh, they're doing the work. This is why I keep going to them. Even the roads you see around, all the communities are connected today because I wake up in the morning, that's my dream. And for my dream to be realized, I have to wake up and go there and see. And uh, my person there who encourage those that are working to do, to do better and, and they work faster. So you saw the military, 14 military hospital, and, and the component that will be added to it because we're building the military hospital, our counterpart, the Chinese, told us that, okay, what can we do to complement the hospital? So they are coming with one of the biggest uh, 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 conference and uh, 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 diagnostic center that will be the biggest in, in, in Africa, at least for the first time, Liberia, as the oldest uh, uh, independent state, will have the biggest diagnostic center uh, in Africa. That's something, uh, so we, we always say that, oh, Ghana have the biggest, Nigeria have the biggest, but this time around, they're gonna be saying that Liberia has the biggest, that's not the center. So it, it, it's, it's a plus for us, it's a plus for us. So we are very happy. And our hospital gonna, they're gonna put a training center that uh, they're gonna train uh, and surgeon. Uh, and so just in case we need somebody to be operated, we'll have the, the military, there that already learned how to do uh, 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 those uh, um, work. So that, uh, I'm impressed, you know, and uh, uh, I'm glad that uh, through the 2018, now it's 2019, 
But in 2018, in a, a limited space of time, you know, whether people want to believe it or not, you can see the level of work and the seriousness that we put into the, 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 the nine months. You know, so uh, we're getting through some and uh, uh, we're going to continue on to to make sure that all of the things we need to do for this country to have a, a beautiful face for our friends that come in, not to keep uh, uh, joking us about, you know, they can't see nothing here, you know, so the next time they come, they're going to see something. Today we have a, a, a new airport, you know, some people say it's very small, but uh, uh, we, we, we just doing everything we can do, you know, to, to make sure that People are satisfied. So it's a beginning. That's a beautiful airport we just visited. You know, we we had this one. You know, if you look at this one, the older one, and look at that one, you know, you can only say uh, glory be to God. So we are happy that people walk into our airport. They are monitors. You know, you all of the things you 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 need for the airport to to have a, a facelift, we have it now. Even though people say it's small, but uh, if we can't take care of the smaller thing, then we can have the bigger thing. So since we have the smaller one now, we're going to make sure we take good care of it. And anything need to be added, we are government. You know, we'll go right there and add it on. You know, so so I'm glad, you know, and I, I hope that I'll continue to inspect this project uh, uh, to make sure that those that are doing the projects, uh, uh, they work for their money. Mr. President, just question. Uh, when the airport new terminal will be dedicated? Well, uh, I, I, I think uh, the March, March, is it March 15. You know, I, uh, I just want you to know that I don't do schedule of all of those things. They tell me. So I think the best people to ask will be the public web minister and those that, that are into the facility. What I do uh, uh, at the initial stage, I bring the ideas, what I want to see. You know how it's and how it's going to be implemented. We're going to pay for it. You know that's my part. So the, after that, I just wait to see that what I pay for uh, 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 is dedicated. So, but I want to thank you for the the hard work. I think you play a part. Uh, uh, don't let anybody think that the governor want to work with you. You know, as I said uh, before, you know we are friends. You know before we came to the job, you know. Uh, we all sat on the same table. I think we should continue to do that. So all the best for 2019, and we hope that we can form partnership for the betterment of our country and the promotion of our country. So all the best. Happy New Year. Thank you, sir. Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks.